Top of the morning to you, my friends. Happy Sunday. I'm out here bright and early today. I've got a few things I want to get done. Just going to take it easy in the garden, but I'm going to start it off by doing a bit of a treatment to some of my plants, something that I have advocated in the past. It is by far one of the best things that you can do for your plants to accelerate growth. But I just wanted to bring you all along with me today and share with you something that I love to do in the mornings. I've been employing this in my garden for many years now. It's been providing amazing results and it's just a great way to jumpstart your garden, especially in the springtime. We're doing a lot of transplanting, plugging in new plants. This is a great way to get those plants off on the right foot and to have an abundant season later on. So check this out. So what we have right here is one of my absolute favorite gardening fertilizers in the world. Proof, I've got a five gallon bucket of this stuff. You can also get in a quart size or a gallon size, but why not just stock up, get the cheapest price you can and buy it in a five gallon. This is fish fertilizer, fish emulsion. This is made by byproducts of the fishing industry. So scraps of fish that would otherwise just go to waste are basically ground up into a slurry and made into a fertilizer. Absolutely amazing stuff for the garden. It's got a 511 NPK. So a five on the nitrogen, which is really the main purpose of using this type of fertilizer is it's gonna give your plants that amazing vigorous growth. And that's what we're looking for a lot of times in the spring is we wanna just get that plant growing and growing quickly. So when you're plugging in your tomatoes, you're plugging in your cucumbers, you're plugging in your eggplants, early on, early going, giving it a little shot of this fish emulsion is gonna really show you amazing results. Not only does the plant perk up immediately, but you're gonna notice that the plant grows up very quickly. Now this stuff can be a bit difficult to handle in the five gallon bucket, which is why I'm gonna pour it into one of these half gallon jars and use this to dump into my watering can. This stuff reeks, my friends. You're not gonna to wanna to get it on your hands or your clothes, but it's amazing for your plants. Now. About two tablespoons per gallon, a little more, a little less is good. So I just give it a little glug into the container. And then we'll just fill that up with some dechlorinated water. And I do that by adding in some vitamin C powder. Check the link below if you want to learn more about how to dechlorinate your tap water. So I'm going to start off by fertilizing these shortcake raspberry and blackberry bushes. I really want to showcase this plant for you guys. These are little micro berry shrubs. They only get about this tall, just a little bit taller. And they're thornless. They're called shortcake. Look into it. We're getting some flowers this year. I added these in a couple years ago. And as you can see, as I'm drenching around the roots, I'm also dumping the emulsion all over the leaves of the plant. You can full your feed with this fish emulsion as well. So we're doing both ways at the same time here. We're fertilizing on the foliage and we're root drenching. You can also use this to feed your young transplants. Here we've got some red currant cuttings that are leafing out nicely. Give them a little boost here. And just keep in mind, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way, so don't overdo it. You can actually burn the roots of your plants if you do too much at one time, but if you give it just a little shot, you can actually feed twice a week. And also it's important to know that once your plant begins the flower cycle, or the fruiting cycle, it's good to probably back up off of this because it is high in nitrogen. It's gonna really push out a flush of vigorous new green growth. When we get to the fruiting stages, we wanna back up off the nitrogen. Over here, we got some newly planted gladiolas around the base of the jujube tree. And we'll give these plants a little shot. Here's one of those zucchini plants that I just plugged in the other day. It's rebounded quickly. Really no shock at all.
And here's a little baby hollyhock grown from seed. Here we got a bush goliath tomato plant. But really that's all there is to it. You just go around and give individual plants a little shot of this stuff. Especially if you got plants that are struggling. A little bit of this can actually perk them up and get them going really quick. Check out all this chop and drop using the cardoon and artichoke leaves on top of cardboard. This whole pathway did this yesterday. And here we are in the chicken run. I'm standing next to a Pakistan mulberry. If you've never heard of this tree, it grows long, four, five inch long berries, purple berries. And I'm really happy I got this tree in as a bare root. And this is two years now, and it's going on almost seven feet. So we'll give it a little shot of fertilizer here. And a little drizzle on the leaves as well. It's gonna be better to use a sprayer if you're doing foyer feeding, because you're gonna get a smaller micron size of water molecule mixed with the fertilizer so it's really going to stick and absorb into the stomata of the plant but you're going to notice that this works these plants they really react quickly and check out the chop and drop job i did in the chicken run yesterday all sorts of different plant life jungle growth chopped back just covering the forest floor here in the food forest now, if you want to pretty it up, you can go over the top with some straw or some wood chips. But I found that by diversifying the mulch that you're using in your garden, you get a higher quality soil buildup over time. Well, the sun's coming up, starting to warm up now. And with that, I just want to remind you, it's best to fertilize either earlier in the morning or later in the evening, not the midday. You want to try to avoid watering and fertilizing in the middle of the day, especially when it's hot. If you're in the 70s, you're, you're pretty much good to go at any time. But it's going to be a beautiful day today. I'm going to spend it, like I said, out in the garden. I hope you all do the same. You're able to get at least one thing done in your garden today. And enjoy your day. Make the most out of it. Every day is a blessing, my friends. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon. The blue sky doesn't disappear today.